on August 21st in 2017, there is this, there will be this total solar eclipse that's, um, the shadow of the moon is going to cross the entire United States. Which means if you're on, if you're in the United States, there are places where you can go and you'll be able to see a total solar eclipse. In fact, my favorite thing about partial eclipses are the shadows through the trees. What's super cool is during that time when the moon is, you know, getting between us and the sun and just blocking it partially, is that all, all of the shadows of leaves through the trees start to have these little circles with bite outs in them. And if you're not paying attention, you might just think there's something weird happening with the shadows. All these things are little pinholes, basically. Like you're casting images of the sun essentially everywhere you look. But you don't think about that until part of the sun's missing. We get this rare opportunity to see the atmosphere of the sun, which is so dim, you can't see it normally. You have to block the entire surface of the, or the bright part of the sun in order to see what's known as the corona. And it's called the corona, which means crown, um, because it looks, the corona can look like a, a crown um, that you know kings of old may have worn. So there's these kind of spikes that come out of the sun. And it's this beautiful part of the sun and, and very interesting. There's, there's magnetism that, that um, you know, that structures how that looks. And NASA and the National Solar Observatory and the High Altitude Observatory all study the sun and the corona already and they, they create ways of, of looking at the dim part of the sun. But the nice thing about a total solar eclipse is because the moon size in the sky is, is often exactly the same size as the sun size in the sky, you get this really nice match and you can actually see this atmosphere all the way down to the brightest part of the sun, but without seeing the bright part of the sun. It's quite spectacular and very unusual. <laughs> I'm part of this project called the Mega Movie, and we've been working for many years to try to figure out how can we engage the public, not only in viewing this total solar eclipse, but also in potentially doing some science um, with the information that we can gather during that time. We came up with this idea to get people involved in taking photographs of the total e solar eclipse at all locations across the United States where this would occur, and then putting all these images together into a massive movie, or even to pull it apart to make a couple different movies with um, essentially with the public's images. We had this really productive meeting one day with the, the with a Google team with a team at Google, and they um, and they were really excited about this project and so we started meeting with them more about it and so now they're full partners and um, they're going to help collect these images and help us um, kind of create the big movie to share out and share it out and so it's this kind of three-pronged approach of ensuring the public is engaged in a meaningful way with this mega movie project um, working with an industry partner that is very excited about this project and giving back to the community and um, the scientific community that will have a data set that they've never had before.